Hello everybody, this is Dale W94 from West DPS 360. I have new guide number 4 here, which is Ground Roar Domination on Karachi. I'm using my Silencer class, which is an ACR with a Silencer, obviously, a Spaz 12, Claymore Stuns, and then Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. Um, I think with the ACR, the ACR is a really good gun, but you do need stopping power on it because the damage isn't very good, to be honest. Although it is extremely accurate. Anyway, I rush tactics come in here. I rush straight over to this area because this is the easiest way I think to get nuked. And I see loads of people, but I don't stay in that area to try and kill them all because I know that I will die if I stay there too long. But anyway, this is the building where I tend to get most of my kills. I get a claymore kill straight away. And, you know, I'm on about 5 kill streak already here. Normally, I prefer it if I start on the other side, where I am now, because I can go straight up into this building. Because you have a good view of uh, people coming around the corner by A, where I just was. And also, if you go up here, there's a good view of people coming around the corner by C as well. And there's also a good view of B down there. Just remember to use this little like hut that's on top of the roof here as cover. Don't just stand out on the middle of this roof or you will get picked off. And as you see I get my Harrier strike really early. The team I'm playing though aren't uh, like pretty good. And you notice here that I think they get me like one kill and got shot now. Anyway, this is the place I stay for most of the game because it's really easy to pick people up. And it's just like really important that you have claymores for here because there's only really one entrance they can come up. They can come up the ladder, but that will be very hard for them to get up from there. So claymores are vital. And it can be annoying if someone's got Scrambler Pro or something and they keep on dying. Um. Anyway, my Harris did get shot down, and you see there's some guy who I think has Marathon, so he's able to run past my Claymore. But he runs around the side, and I go behind that little piece of cover there. That piece of cover is a really good place if you're looking at someone come up the stairs. And you'll notice I use it a lot later on in the game. But anyway, my Scavenger Pro comes in again, and I get another Claymore. Uh, they capture B, and I'm sure I'm pretty close to getting my chopper gunner now, so I go and hide, because they have Harriers out, so I don't want to just run out and get killed by Harriers, because that's just stupid. Especially when you're on, I think I'm on about 10 kill streak, I'm not too sure. Anyway, I just go in here, I'm hoping that someone around the corner from A, this is a pretty good place to look at people coming from here. And um, I just want to point out one thing about this, uh, about my guides. In my guides, I show the best way that I think to get a nuke in a cert like in this on a certain map. But don't think that okay, next time I go on this map, I'll get a nuke easy if I follow this, because you won't just get a nuke every time. You might be playing against really good players that are just rushing you. And even though you have claymores, eventually you'll die. So, you know, these these guides will help a lot, I think, in trying to get you nukes, but it's not as if you're going to get a nuke every game on using this guide. Anyway, I pick up my chopper gunner here. But uh, I think they call in a chopper gunner, so I'm not sure. Oh yeah, my friend shoots it down for me, that was quite good of him. Anyway, this, this map can be good for chop gunners sometimes if the only flag they have is C. Because you can spawn trap them at C, but this, with it in this game, they have B as well. So I don't do too well, although I think I get shot down as well. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I should have used the AC-130. But anyway, I just carry on. I think I get shot down with here. Well, pretty soon anyway. Yeah. 
So I get to, I think I'm on a 19 kill streak now. So I go back up into this position and you'll see me just get quite a few more kills up here. Um, it's important when you have claymores down to look out to see if you can hear, hear it go off. Because I think I hear it go off pretty soon here, yeah. So, you know, I use that piece of cover to easily pick them off. So just remember to keep an eye out to listen to your claymores because if they go off and you don't get a kill then you'll think okay someone's coming behind me now so that's just a pretty good tip but anyway there I get loads of kills and I notice people are throwing grenades and all sorts and all they're all seem to be rushing up there so I run out the area run out of the area and that's important if you're on a pretty good kill streak you don't want to lose the kill streak then don't stay in one place too long or eventually they'll just keep on chucking grenades or they'll just keep on running up and eventually they will kill you yeah I'm only one away now so you know just get an easy kill, call it in straight away and I get killed uh, this part's funny over here, I think I put a guy in last stand and he kills me with a throwing knife I don't know how the hell that happened but anyway, it's coming to the end of the video now please rate, comment, subscribe. I think I had a pretty good tactics I showed you there. If you go on, on that building that overlooks B, then you know you can get good kill streaks there. I finish 30 and 3. And uh, that's all. So I'm going to sign off now. Bye bye.